If you're familiar with the new WordPress editor that uses blocks instead of a uh, WYSIWYG editor where you just type into a box, the new WordPress editor utilizes blocks on all of your posts, pages, lessons, courses, and any post type you have in WordPress. And one interesting block that is added is Lifter LMS developed an LMS light block. And what that does, if I search that up here, if you search up LMS in your blocks, when you go and try and add one, it will search for this LMS progress tracker. So with Lifter LMS lessons and courses, there's that mark complete button so it can track your progress through courses, but there's not like a mark complete button for blog posts or like pages or anything like that. It has to be a course, but with this, LMS progress tracker, you can now have mark complete buttons on pages and posts. And I, I haven't tried it with other post types, but it can probably work with other custom post types as well, probably wherever you can add in the um, Gutenberg editor to your post. So if I go ahead and add my block here, if I wanna add this one in and see what it looks like. Uh, now there is a bug in WordPress at the moment where you do have to go ahead and click reload here what this is going to do is install a plugin on your website. It's a very lightweight plugin that just adds this block functionality. But once I reload that page, I can search up LMS just like I did with any of my other blocks up here, and I can add in my block that way. And you can see there's this mark complete button. So if I have maybe a blog post on, if I'm doing a fitness course, maybe it's a specific workout and there's no specific order. Like within a course, oftentimes there's a specific order it's trying to encourage you to complete lessons in, but if you wanted to set up a blog post archive with mark complete buttons, this would be a great way to do it. So if I had like workout number one, and then, or maybe since we're not focusing on ordering the, um, the posts or the workouts, maybe this would be workout push-ups or something like that. So, what I can say is enter a message when the item is incomplete. So if I go ahead and click anywhere in this block, it's going to give me some options on the side here. Um, I can have an incomplete message and a completed message. So maybe my incomplete message says when you've completed the workout, click the button below. There we go. So when you've completed the workout, go ahead and click that button below. I can even change the text on the button if I want to as well. If I don't want to say mark complete, maybe I would want to say I've completed the workout or something like that. And you can also say a message when they've clicked that button. So I'll say congratulations. And let's see what that looks like out of the box right now. So let me go ahead and publish my post and then view my post. So I've got my workout push-ups. It says once you've completed the workout, click the button below and it says congratulations. And so since I'm logged in as a user, that's gonna track, and this currently doesn't show up in the Lifter LMS reporting that I've completed this, but I'm assuming that's a feature they'll probably add on later down the line there. So if I go ahead and click on my button here, of course, like in WordPress, I can change my button styling, and one super cool thing you can do is on your button, you can place a link. So if I were to say google.com, I wanna send people to google.com when they click my mark complete button. Now maybe you instead want to send them to your second blog post or the next progression in your um, course or like workout program or something like that, but you can redirect them anywhere you want to. And let me quickly enable this progress reset. This allows me to do mar mark incomplete since I've already completed this uh, workout here. I got to add this mark incomplete button. So then when people click, since I added my link in here, I click, I've completed the workout it's gonna send me to Google in a new tab here. But instead, I could send them anywhere you want to. If you had a second blog post or a course or like an upsell or something like that, you could send them anywhere. So yeah, that's just a quick overview and demo of the new Lifter LMS Lite Mark Complete button that you can now use on pages, posts, and probably any custom post type if you add that in, if it supports the Gutenberg editor, of course. But, uh, but yeah. It'll be cool to see what Lifter LMS does with this. And you can now build an archive style website with mark complete buttons that's not in the format of a course. If you just have a membership with a whole lot of workouts in it, this is one way you can track and help students mark which workouts they may have completed already. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.